Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dax. This is Tesla Talks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. The Model Y is here in Canada. Let's talk about it. Yeah, folks, the Model Y is here in Canada. It started out right now in the West Coast in Vancouver. And I think so far there's only like a handful, I want to say three or four deliveries. I could be wrong. Uh, some people have been told here in Southern Ontario to expect their car within the next week or two, basically by the end of June, for sure. So that's exciting news. I mentioned this about probably back in April, I think I did a video that it's coming. Uh, I had it on good authority that it was coming and some people in the comments below because you know this is YouTube and everyone figures on YouTube they can say whatever they want and you know how it is big noisy truck so people said on YouTube that it wasn't gonna happen and I don't know what I'm talking about well I had it on a good authority that I didn't know what I was talking about and I was pretty sure it was gonna happen and lo and behold this isn't a video to say, look, look at me, I was right uh, and you were wrong. I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just happy that it's actually here, which brings me to my next topic. Some people are saying now that the Model Y has demand issues and they're not getting, I mean, let's face it, folks, we're going through a worldwide pandemic. People are losing their jobs left, right and center. People are tight on their budgets and stuff like that. So it is totally understandable and expected that some, if not many people, probably canceled their Model Y reservations that they've had since last year. I mean, that's not unheard of, that's not uncommon, that's not surprising. That's, you can't blame people for that. People, as, as much as this car is great and electric cars are great and people need cars, you don't need a car if you don't have a job. I hate to say it. I mean, as sobering as that sounds and as depressing as that sounds, that is the fact and that is the reality for many people in, I wanna say worldwide, but I'm dealing basically with North America for now and predominantly the US because that's where it started out. So people are saying that's why it's gone to Canada so quickly. And that's why some people are saying they now included the Model Y in the referral program to sort of drum up or drum up, drum up basically uh, more demand and more uh, sales. Well, if they did that for that reason, brilliant for them because it is near the end of the quarter. I mean, we've got what, two more weeks before the end of the quarter and that's normal. That's understandable that they're going to do that. I mean, you can't blame them for doing that. So there is going to be some kind of demand issue, no matter what. Is it a big problem that the sky is falling? They're making all these cars now that they came back and opened up the factory and nobody wants them and the cars are going to be sitting on lots? No, obviously that's not going to happen. You think it's bad for Tesla? All other car manufacturers are going through the same thing and it's actually even worse for the other car manufacturers. Tesla did one of the best uh, first quarters around out of all the car manufacturers. I don't know the exact stats, but I read somewhere that they did better than most, if not all other car manufacturers. So there is going to be some kind of issue with demand, but it's not the end of the world. No need to panic. The Model Y will sell itself. And uh, it looks like the economy is slowly starting to open up for um, different countries and different states and provinces and stuff like that. So things are good. Things are, things are getting better. I shouldn't say things are good. Things are getting better. What I mean, it's a good sign. That's what I mean. Anyways, Model Y is here in Canada. I can't wait to actually see one in person. They've also said uh, I read somewhere down in the States that they're getting them in the showrooms, the Tesla showrooms, and they're having them for test drives and stuff like that. So I suggest if you want to see one, you take one for a test drive. I don't know how that would work. Now, would that be like you can take one for a test drive by yourself? Or does the sales guy come in the car with you like normal, but wears a mask? I don't know. If you can go for a test drive by yourself, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> Especially in a performance. I hope they come to Canada soon, then I will get a test drive. But look out, call your um, uh, sales office and stuff and see if you can get a test drive if you haven't got one already. Model Y is here and it's uh, doing awesome. A little bit of demand uh, drop, but it's doing better than I even expected. Thanks for watching, folks. That's all I got. Before I go, folks, hit the like button because if you hit the like button, then this video goes out to more people and more people get educated and exposed about Tesla and the Model 3 and the Model Y and stuff like that. Hit the subscribe button too. Folks, I am so close. I'm, I'm not bagging here. I, I try not to bag on YouTube at all, if ever. But I'm so close to 10,000 subscribers. That's 
since I've got 1,000 subscribers years ago, my number one goal after that, and it's been a long awaited goal, was to hit 10,000 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button, folks. Send it out to your friends. Uh, let them know this is, this is my channel. I bring you Tesla content with the SX Model 3, Model Y, Cybertruck, the long awaited Cybertruck, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I even throw in some camping videos. If you like camping and stuff like that, I throw in camping videos every now and then. So hit the subscribe button, folks, and do me a favor. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya. Bye-bye.